Okay, so I know I said I was going to bed, and I typically do just one of these videos a day. Um, but there's one thought I wanted to leave you with. Um, today I was reading in Proverbs 18, and there there were there were several things that stood out to me. I think there were five things that, that, that I marked in here, five different uh, Proverbs. But I just want to share the, the first one with you. In verse 1, uh, we read, One who isolates himself pursues selfish desires. He rebels against all sound wisdom. Now, when it talks about one who isolates himself, um, that doesn't necessarily mean um, all alone time. It's, it's, it's good to be alone with God, to, to get away at times and isolate yourself in the sense that you're, um, you're away from distractions, you're away from uh, your phone, the computer, the TV, um, things that, that, that can that have a tendency to, to draw your mind away from the Lord, which there are some things when we just need to stay away from altogether. Um, but what I'm getting at here is what we, we see in the Gospels that Jesus regularly gets away from people um, to pray, to be alone with the Father, to, to prepare for things that are to come, uh, to, to strengthen um, the, the fellowship with his Father, to, to walk closely with him, uh, and to fully enjoy him, to enjoy that, that communion, that friendship, if you will, with him. Um, so that's good. It's good to do those things. Um, but the pattern of our life cannot be just getting away from people and, and being an island and being alone all the time. Um, because we were created for fellowship. We were created for fellowship with God, first and foremost, uh, to have that relationship with him and to worship him. And we were created to have fellowship with other human beings. Um, scripture talks about how it's not good for, for man to be alone. Um, he created male and female and, and for um, a man and a woman to enjoy the husband and wife relationship and to, to raise a family together, uh, to be in community with, with, with each other. And, and, and he created the church. He created the, the church for us to, to be together and to um, encourage one another. We see, we see that phrase one another so many times in the, in the, in the New Testament. Um, you know, we, we need to be uh, encouraging one another, teaching one another, discipling each other, um, helping those that are in need. Um, and so that's that's the life that we were created for. Um, you know, this, this whole COVID thing that's going on, so many people are using it as an excuse just to not be in church. Um, and, the, and there are some valid... There, there are some people that are more susceptible to that than others, and, and it may be good for them to, to you know, keep their distance for a little while. Um, but on the other hand, there are people that, you know, they should be there, and they, look, there, there have always been diseases. There are always going to be diseases on this earth until Jesus comes back, and so there any number of things can happen to us when we step outside the house. Any number of things can happen to us when we're in the house. There, there's risk everywhere, but at some point you have to trust in the Lord and 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 walk with Him. And you can't, you know, Hebrews, I believe Hebrews ten. While I'm talking, I'm going to flip there just to make sure. Um, it talks about not neglecting um, fellowship, not neglecting that relationship with the saints, and where that happens primarily is in the church. Because we need one another, um, walking with others, it's a it's a safeguard against sin. I can't do two things at one time, so I'm oh look, it's I'm almost there. Let me go ahead and if I'm there. Let me hold that thought. I'll probably forget what I was saying and never come back to it, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, twenty four and twenty five, Hebrews ten twenty four and twenty five, and let us consider one another in order to provoke love and good works, not neglecting to gather together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging each other and all the more as you see the day approaching. Um, so if I'm remembering what I, what I was saying before, um, gathering together, it's a safeguard against sin. We hold each other accountable. Um, 
it can be far too easy in our day and age to to do the YouTube church thing where where we just we justify it by saying, well, hey, you know, I'm just I'm watching sermons on YouTube or I'm listening to podcasts, and those things are good, um, but they're supplements. They're not the main diet. They they are merely uh, supplements to help um, our regular worship in private with the Lord and then with one another. But when we when we get alone, there's no accountability. It's easier to sin, and it's it's easy to to puff ourselves ourselves up and to become very very arrogant. Um, and so, yeah, on the one hand, we w- we want our times where we're alone, but really, in a sense, we're never alone because we're when we get alone, we're with the Lord, and we're you know we're living in light of that presence of, you know, that, that he's always with us and, and we're pursuing him. We're not pursuing this, this isolation where we're um, getting away from everything. And be, because that's when Satan can really do his work. And that's when our, our flesh really does its work where it, it causes us to, to sin more. And so that's, that's foolishness. Um, and so the encouragement there is just um, have your time with the Lord. Don't seek to, um, just get alone for aloneness sake. I know that's not the proper word, but it's late. My brain's going here. Um, don't just, don't just get alone for the sake of that, because that, that can lead to all kinds of problems, but, um, have that time where you're walking with the Lord. Um, but that time is to serve a purpose because when we go back into the world, we're to be salt and light. We're, we're, um, We're to spread the gospel. That's the Great Commission. We're supposed to take it as we're going into the world. We're supposed to be taking the gospel with us. Um, And so, yeah, I guess we'll just leave that there. Okay, now I'm going to bed.